Todd. I'm the director of Friends of Blackwater, a citizens organization with a thousand dues paying members and offices in Tucker County and Charleston, West Virginia. We West Virginians are extremely proud of our beautiful mountains, rivers, and rural communities. And we are fierce and zealous in their defense and protection. We are particularly proud of the West Virginia Highlands, a little bit of Canada in Appalachia. To prevent the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service from removing federal endangered species protections from the West Virginia Northern Flying Squirrel, the Comus Sabrinus Fuscus. Our coalition member groups include the Wilderness Society, the National Wildlife Federation, the American Lands Alliance, the Center for Biological Diversity, the Southern Appalachian Biodiversity Project, the Southern Appalachian Forest Coalition, Hartwood, Stewards of the Potomac Highlands, and the Maryland Conservation Council. Jenny, the flying squirrel, as we oh, like to call yeah. her, and her babies, um, are the signature species of our state's highest mountains. Ginny is a relic of the last ice age. When the glaciers retreated, Ginny's ancestors were isolated on the high mountain ridges of six West Virginia counties and one in Virginia. Ginny has e evolved a remarkable lifestyle, surviving in a demanding and specialized habitat, feeding at night on underground fungi that grow in the cool, moist, forested mountaintops. Ginny has been on the federal endangered species list since 1985. In the fall of 2006, officials at the Fish and Wildlife Service announced a fast-track delisting proposal for Ginny. The proposal, developed in secret without input from official recovery plan authors, is to strip all federal protections from the West Virginia Northern Flying Squirrel. This proposal generated a huge negative public reaction. The agency says that the public cannot see 2,325 pages in the agency's files on delisting. Members of Congress, this isn't national security. What can be so secret about a squirrel? The agency's stealth delisting plan is illegal and absurd, procedurally and substantively. Fish and Wildlife admits it has no idea how many squirrels there are. The threats to Ginny and her habitat are growing, not shrinking. The meager scientific data on Ginny's habitat and likely future has been cherry-picked and mischaracterized to support a clearly predetermined conclusion. The leading scientist who has studied the squirrel for decades has opposed the delisting proposal.